Hi friends, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome back to my channel. This is turning into part three of the Tunisian increasing series. So the first two videos were increasing, both of them were um, internal increasing, so internal shaping. So we placed, we increased by one stitch per row here in this section, and there's a video for that on working in the horizontal bar. For this internal shaping, we increased by two stitches per row using the full stitch. And now I wanna show you the external shaping or the edges shaping. So by increasing, we can really place increases any way we want. And we can either do them in the horizontal bar or do them full stitch wise, but we can also place them on the outside. So the reason for doing an internal shaping is for like a sweater. If you want to increase so that you can accommodate for um, the bust circumference or to add some stitches over the, the top of a back of a man's broad shoulder for his sweater, then you might use the internal shaping. If you wanna hide your shaping, like in a side seam, where it's under the arm, for example, you wanna add stitches, but you don't want any change of pattern, you can add the increases on the outer edges. So to do that, what I'm gonna do, you can either use the method from the uh, using the horizontal bar, or you can use the method from the Tunisian full stitch, and you can do that here. So on the right side, I'm going to use this increasing in the horizontal bar. So I have my stitches, we're just doing Tunisian simple stitch, but I can, and this stitch here counts as the first one, I can increase immediately by pulling up a loop in the horizontal bar between the stitches. Then increase, or not increase, but work evenly Tunisian simple stitch or whatever Tunisian pattern you're using all the way across to the other side edge. Okay, so as we get to this internal shaping, this shaping here in the middle, we're not going to do anything differently. We're just going to keep right on working. We're not increasing in the middle this time. We're increasing on the edges. And like I said, part of the increasing on the edges kind of hides the um, increases or decreases if you decided to do that, but hiding the increases under in the seam or near the seam where it's not as visible in the middle of a pattern. And when we reach the other edge, if we want to increase, okay, let me tell you. So we've increased over here. So we could keep this side going straight and work even and only flare that side, or we can increase on this side and increase on that side, or we could go straight here and only increase. So if you want to uh, diagonal out, place the increase on the edge that you want to diagonal out. If you want to diagonal out on both of them, we're gonna increase on both sides. If you only want to diagonal out on one, then make sure that you um, increase on the side that you want to flare out. <laughs> Does that make sense? So if we're gonna do this equally and do an increase over here and we want an increase over here, now is the time to do it. So we can, again, pull up a loop in the horizontal bar here in between the last two stitches, and then also Tunisian simple stitch in the last stitch so that we have effectively increased on this side and this side. Okay, so let's yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through two loops all the way across. We're getting a nice big swatch. At some point, because we have increased so much, it might be useful to switch over to a corded Tunisian hook, a Tunisian hook that has a flexible cord or cable on it, because we're kind of turning a corner here with the um, increases in the middle. But if you're increasing on the edges, that's how we can do it. We can do it using that horizontal bar. Okay, so let's do that again. So we have our first two stitches. Normally, if we were not increasing, we would just Tunisian simple or whatever Tunisian pattern in that next vertical bar. But because we're increasing, I'm gonna squeeze in one here in the horizontal bar, pull up a loop, then go ahead and do the vertical bar as well. 
So where we did have one, two stitches, we now have three. And that is the very essence of increasing, isn't it? So I hope that you are enjoying this video series on um, Tunisian. So check out the previous videos on internal shaping, one stitch per row with the horizontal bar, and then two stitches per row using the full stitch. And now we're doing um, side seam increasing shaping with Tunisian using the horizontal bar. I know that I have no idea what I'm going to title these videos. That's such a long title, but I hope that you are enjoying this series and I hope that your crochet is relaxing and a valuable use of your time. I know it's a valuable use of mine because I keep doing it. I find a lot of joy in it and I hope you do too. So please like and subscribe this video. Oh, if we're going to increase again, we would do it right now. With one, we did that one, we have one stitch left. Let's go ahead and sneak in another increase in the horizontal bar here in between, and then pull up a loop Tunisian simple stitch on that final one and yarn over. And look how this is buckling here in the middle. So it might be time to switch to a cable hook or not, or just allow it to be what it is. So that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, side seam shaping for Tunisian, and I will see you on the next video.